Hey folks, Tonster back. Uh, today we have an ace in uh, Rebel Larisse. We are on the map, uh, Fisherman's Bay, and um, I did not give you guys the setup for this tank, but I have a turbo, I have vents, and I have a gun rammer on this, which means I have to run food to get full view range. My view range is about 450, because I have a lot of crew skills on this, on this crew. So... Um, this is how not to light tank <laughs> our ELC, even 90. I don't know what he thinks he's doing, but uh, whatever. <laughs> We're going to end up without an ELC, let's put it that way. So do you see the BZ-176 and we're able to take a shot on him and take him out? Or not take him out, but uh, weaken him to some extent. And um, that is a tank that I do not want to fight. Because this thing has tier 5 whole armor, and uh, the turret is not much better than that either. So, uh, this is a very weakly armored tank. A BZ can pen you almost anywhere, maybe not the gun mantlet, um, but everywhere else it can basically pen you. So, that would be 800 damage that I take for free. So, we relocate just a little bit, and we're trying to get shots on on other things. And so, and I should have taken that shot. I did, but it was too late, unfortunately. So, um, Fisherman's Bay, the middle of the map, is actually very powerful, especially from this side. Um... If only our light tank had realized that he could have gone into the bushes that I showed you guys a, a couple of uh, replays ago in these bushes, he could have had a heyday of a game because there's a lot of stuff sitting metal right now. So, so we're going to go ahead and try and get some more shots on the heavies that are kind of, they're not very far pushed up uh, because our team is definitely pushing the pace on the heavy side now the problem with that is if there's a bunch of stuff in the middle you don't want to do that because you're going to get farmed pushing out right so um so at any rate we're just just kind of trying sitting and you can see these guys are spotted because they are shooting at the heavies right and he's he's not behind the building so so we're going to go ahead and wait, see if this guy gets spotted again, and he does, and we're able to take him out. Now this tank, it's got 2300 DPM with a gun rammer, so it's got under 2000 DPM, it, it has no armor, uh, it's not very fast, um, which is why I run a turbo, which you're going to see the effects of that later. Um, I think with the field mods and everything, I have it up to 20 kph in reverse. Um, might be 19 but uh but at any rate that is going to help us a lot and that's that's basically the best setup i've found for this thing is to run a turbo so that you can be somewhat relevant otherwise you are extremely uh you're an extremely poor tank as far as tier 8 goes you know you're not a brass you don't have speed you don't have dpm you don't have armor what you have is a gun, and the gun is actually pretty decent, um, as we're able to get a side shot on the 122 TM. The the gun is uh, is 390 Alpha, and um, as we take a hit, ouch! Um, but it's 390 Alpha, and the gun handling is pretty good, and the speed of the shells is insane. I want to say like 1400. 1,460 meters per second, which is a rail gun. At tier 8, you just don't get that kind of um, velocity. So it's quite good in that regard, but it only has 250 millimeters of heat pen, and I think it's 200 on the uh, standard rounds, which is, yeah, quite outdated. 200 millimeters of pen is just not very good. So we know that there's a light tank. In fact, he just uh, just got spotted, and we are going to take a chance to pull out and try and get a shot on him, and luckily we do. We're able to get a hit on him and uh, pull back into cover, which is obviously going to be helpful. 
uh, because he can't afford to take a lot of chances from here on out. So, I was pulling out trying to see if I could spot that ELC, to be honest, but uh, no dice. And I take a blind shot on a tank that is already dead. <laughs> because <laughs> that's how we roll here on Toaster's channel. So there are no blind fires in this game, um, but I am really attempting to find out where that light tank is because with him alive and me having no armor, it it makes it pretty tough. This This is a pretty tough sell. Bad situation for a rev. You do not want to be spotted in a rev because everyone will shoot at you, right? So again, slow, methodical play is the best course of action here. Uh, also, if you're not fully aimed, this thing's French, and if you're not fully aimed, you are not going to hit your shots. So I fully expect something up in this corner, this Nomad and maybe something else, um, which there's the Nomad. And so the fact that there are guys in that corner, I do not want to poke out and get shot by those guys. So instead, we're going to take our time to aim. We're going to hit the Progetto. And uh, our two Progettos are in trouble, right? Now our one Progetto is in trouble, but we can get some free damage based on, on what's happening here. So that's exactly what we're going to try and do is get some shots in. And you notice I am keeping my reticle where I think the person's going to be. Uh, because, and we just, our shot wasn't pure, but it was, it, it, the shot deviated as well. So that was not good. But, but we're just playing sniper. That's what we do. Thankfully, our IS-6 is a gamer. He's a Terry gamer. <laughs> and he is pushing up on the sniper nest. Hopefully, he's going to catch some of these guys out. And I should have waited to fire because I could have maybe gotten a shot. See, we're not even visible. And this ISU, or the uh, SU-130PM is shooting at us because he knows we are an easy pen. That's actually fortunate for our IS-6 because then he doesn't take a hit. You would think the guy would, would go after uh, the tank that, <laughs> that is more dangerous, closer to him. But whatever, nevertheless. Okay, so my opinion is that this guy is somewhere in this area, right? This, this light tank. So what I want to do is come around from the bottom and then get back up into these bushes so that it, so that I cut off the map. That's kind of the idea. Because the rest of the team, we've got an S1, but he is over the ridge. So he's not going to spot anything over in here. So my idea is to position myself so that if these guys kind of come across, um, I've got a good chance of seeing them. And plus, I'm overseeing the cap. So that's my thought process at this point. Because we do have a fair amount of hit points, but uh, two autoloaders. You know, an ELC is is dangerous to me because he's going to pen every shot and he's got 660 alpha in his magazine and uh the progetto 46 has 720 so if i take a hit or two i am in deep trouble here because then i become a one shot for the progetto right and potentially a one shot for the light tank so i have not been lit yet um, which is good. Uh, and I think that the IS-6, uh, he's trying to spot the IS-6 is my guess. He's probably somewhere, I thought he was in the bush that he, sh that I shot at, but, um, he's probably somewhere in this area is my guess. Trying to light the IS-6 up. The IS-6 has pretty formidable armor now. They buffed it, a a year or two ago and it's actually got decent decent armor and here comes our buddy the ELC now the ELC must not have been running commander's vision because he should have spotted me there 
Although he was, you know, he was a couple hundred meters away, and maybe the bush that we just drove past kind of covered us. I don't know. So now the hunt is on for this Progetto, and the nice thing is we've, we've preserved enough hit points that uh, even if he clips us, we're not going to die. Now, one of the things you don't want to do is get clipped completely and then have him be able to reload a shell because that would probably, that may kill us. He's 50-50 he's to kill us if he uh, reloads one shell. So it's, and in that period of time, I'm going to get no more than two shots, right? So I am kind of roaming around near our IS-6 because if we spot him, I want to make sure that our IS-6 also gets shots. But at this point, it appears that he has left the building. So he is somewhere else. So we're going to take a blind shot. And we're just kind of... There's two, two reasons you take a blind shot. One is to actually try and hit them, right? Um, and two is also to see if you get lit. Because that might, might clue me in where he is at. So... So our SU-130 PM is full health. We've got about a half health on our IS-6. And we've also got um, an S-1 who is fairly low hit points. Um, and then myself, who is three quarters health. So, so I noticed the SU-130 PM does not go in towards the city. Um, and I'm... I'm thinking that he may have gotten lit, but he doesn't say anything. Uh, based on his position, I thought maybe he got lit. Or maybe he just... I mean, because why is he backtracking the same exact location that he was? Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. So I'm kind of paying attention, and not enough to actually put a shot into the Progetto, who is fairly healthy. Um, but we're going to go ahead and sit here. I know it's a matter of time until my SU-130 PM comes and helps me. So I would like to get some damage in on this guy. And we do have our repair kit. So we're able to put a shot in for a shot, which makes us, uh, puts us ahead, basically. And notice the reverse speed here, right? Our reverse speed... And that is a lot of the reason that I run a turbo on this. You cannot get away at 15 kilometers an hour. And this thing, you can track and damage it every single time. And so I was, if I did not have a turbo in that situation, I probably would have died. Um, because my reload is so long. It's like 11 seconds or 10 and a half seconds. It's bad. So no, it's, yeah, it's about 11 seconds. <clears throat> so... Anyway, that's the end of the game. The kind of a mundane game. 4,000 damage, 957 assists, and 4 kills. So let's look at the after action. Doesn't take a lot to ace this thing. Okay, well, here's our ace. No other medals, quite honestly. Uh, we got our ace tanker. Uh, we were top of the team with 1,400 experience. Our Progetto did pretty good. Um, IS-6 didn't do a lot, but, um, he pushed the action, which is helpful. So, uh, the enemy team, kind of the same thing. Not a lot was done on their side either. So, their BZ did zero damage. Wow. So, 26 shots, 15 hits, 13 pens. We did fire a lot of blind shots, so that's, that's part of the issue. And, uh... And, of course, we hit a lot of our shots from long distance because this thing is not an up-close damage dealer, except in very specific situations. So um, we ended up with 137 credits because we were running a reserve, uh, which is great. Our, our consumables um, were out of, so we're paying full price for those. So normally we would have made another 10,000 credits there. And I did five times this. This is uh, 8680 xp for our crew which is great although this crew is pretty maxed out so so i appreciate you guys watching um if you have any comments or questions on the rev uh i am trying to kind of casually three market eventually i will 
uh, but uh, it's it's outdated in this day and age. Unless you own one, I would not suggest buying one. So again, thanks. We'll catch you next time. Tonester out.